Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be using some eclectic images in my Use It Up journal. So a Use It Up journal, if you haven't come across one before, is any journal that you just use up extra paint or your extra images in. It's basically what I use to paint off any extra paint that I've got on my palette that I don't want to waste. You can see it just goes on crazy. This is, I think, um, it's Dilution Shimmer paints in the background. I may have been playing around with them or something and I had some left over so I just painted them on. Um, the journal itself is an A5 Dilutions journal but any journal you have will work. I just like smaller journals for these and it's a great um, way that you know if you've got these pages painted in the background you can then create a page over the top really really quickly. So I'm going in with my black gesso and using this Art by Mylene stencil which um, I really love to go over the background so this gives you a really really bold background to work with and um, having the black and the colors in the background is really really striking and by stenciling over with all the black in the background it doesn't matter that my background itself is a bit crazy the patterns aren't necessarily even the colors not necessarily spread out properly across the page the black axe is a unifying element over the page. To add a bit more interest to it, I like to put some pen work over the top, more so because this gives me a little bit of thinking time when I'm doing my pages. Um, I know I can do this for a little while and it gives my brain a chance to sort of not switch off because obviously I'm concentrating on what I'm doing, but it gives me a bit of space to go oh what what are you going to do next or what do you want to use next on your page um, and it's a technique I use quite often because um, as most of you are probably aware when I create pages like this I don't necessarily go in with a plan it's just I pick up something use it and then go oh what can I do next so these are kind of my break times where I start to consider what I'm going to do following up so you can see sort of throughout here I had some black paint left over so I'm going into another page and painting off and that's just what I do throughout this journal so on this page it's going to be something on black probably black and white doodling um, but I would have hate to have hated to waste all that paint by just you know putting on wet wipe and throwing it in the bin so that's my use it up journal so I'm for this use it up journal page I'm using some printables um, and these are printables from the lovely Denise Lush called Luscious Prints which I think is an awesome name for a um, company and I've printed these out on my laser printer at home and I printed it out into sticker paper so I print most of my printables out in sticker paper because I just find it really really convenient for me um, it means that once I've cut them out I don't need to worry about gluing quite often when I use printables like this I actually use them in my junk journals and travel um, journals when I'm traveling so the fact that I don't have to worry about adhesive or you know gluing it down again pieces slipping makes it just so much easier I know it's not a huge deal but um, I just find it more convenient so I just go to my local um, news agents and buy A4 sticker paper and use that to print out on. So you can see here the border pieces didn't quite fit the whole way around so I've just extended them out and I'm just adding on different bits so just because you've got the border piece that you print out doesn't mean you can't rearrange them in a way that you like. This little mushroom I absolutely adored it's actually part of the um, luscious prints um, not marketing banner that's on the bottom of the page so it's not actually part of the well it's on every page you print out sorry but it's not part of the images but it's an, a bonus image that you can use um, and I really loved it so um, it came on my page and I think I managed to add, find a few more that I could add on as well. What I'm doing now is outlining all my pieces with a white pen and probably a black pen as well just to sort of add to that border effect and you know make a difference from the background. Now quite often those people who follow my channel for a while know when I do magazine collages whether it is an actual magazine or something I've printed out I will quite often re-go over the lines with a black and white um, gel pen or sorry paint pen because 
most printed images will have quite matte um, printing or black on it and it makes it really really um, oh the black's not a true black so you will see now because I'm putting the extra black on how much blacker that is than the black in the background how many times can you say black in a sentence um, it just makes a huge difference to framing everything up I'm not doing anything new I'm following the lines that Denise saw um, drawn on the bits and pieces that she had in the printables I'm just adding in some of the extra detail you'll notice my printing too my printer's being a little bit temperamental at the moment. There's something wrong with the rollers. So um, some of the, um, I was going to say paint, ink has cracked off. Um, so again, by putting the black over the top, it sort of adds to it. So now I'm going in with my other images that I want to put together. And I've got this lovely quirky head. And then I've got, I'm not sure what that was, but I've turned it into a, her hair. I've got the body there and then I'm finding some sort of skirt or little tail feathers that she's got and then some legs to go with it. So this is what I love about magazine collage. You can be as kooky as you want, you know, nothing needs to make sense. One of the things I do like to follow though is to make sure my images are grounded. So what that means is that they are attached in some way to the bottom or a side of a page. You'll notice with my figure that I've got there, um, her feet are um, one's actually extending off the page but the other one's actually like she's on a step stepping down so um, even though they're quirky gravity still exists in magazine collage so you need to work out how you're going to make sure that your images sort of stay on the ground so that's my finished page of how I put it together I just added off some extra little bits um, which was the magazine words I cut out from a magazine in the background it's never too late to reinvent and I added in some journaling just about what that meant to me you can see I added in a few little extra mushrooms because I really loved them and there is a little corner spot that I thought an extra figure would um, be handy in there too so really really simple but it's a great way to use the use it up journal and to create really quick and easy collages check out the link below to find a link to Denise's collage images and you'll find she's got some new ones up there now too. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye for now.